Hello, hello everybody. We are going to be continuing our Pokemon Platinum Adventures. Last time, we went to Iron Island, beat the Canelave Gym. Oh yeah, which was, I think, the Steel Guy. I think that was him. Rourke's father. For some reason, some of the gyms just kind of blend together for, like, in regards to, like, the city they're from. <laughs> anyway, Team Galactic started to go complete terroristic. No, no idea why they blew up the marsh? I guess as a test run for the, the lakes, but still. It, it seems a bit weird for them to just be like, we're going to blow up the marsh. It has nothing to do with our plans. We're just going to do it. And uh, last time, we went to Lake Valor and the other lake, I forget its name, and fought, I believe, Jupiter and Mars, I believe. But now we need to follow after Barry because he's probably going to be up far away of getting smacked on at Lake Acuity. Lancelot solos Goku, if only. Hmm. It's a big boulder. Let's use strength. Lake Verity. I don't know what Verity means. <laughs> hmm. Now I just wonder what kind of secrets there are in here. AKA findable items. So we'll just wander around a bit since we can pretty much just explore everywhere. Lo and behold, secret. <laughs> rare candy, it's a rare secret. Is it called a rare candy because it's cooked rare? I don't know, I don't know much about steak. I forget who I have in front. Well, I guess we'll annihilate the Machop. Even though you're part steel, so we have to be careful of fighting types with Silas because he should be fighting steel, so fighting types are uh, could be annihilated. <laughs> Hi, Neon. I had to shiny hunt a normal Feebas. I found a spare shiny Feebas in the process. To have the luck where you have to, where you find a spare, like, you have to go looking for a normal Feebas. Hmm. Probably shouldn't come down here without defog. I don't even know if this is like the proper way to go for getting around. Hmm. I thought because it's a candy, it needs to be solidified like hard candy. Maybe. Speaking of luck, I am almost two times over odds for Groudon. <laughs> You've been looking for Groudon for twice as long than other people. Eh, there's probably not much point to schmickety schmacking that guy. He probably won't give much experience. Doot. Doot, 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 doot. Where are all the rock types when I need them? But we'll try to explore the whole place and see if we can avoid going down into the, the fog den. If not, we'll have to run back and get defog. Unless I have defog on the team and I forgot. Nope, normal team. Because I believe... I presume that this is not going to work, but... I think this is a you-come-out-from-here boulder. Yep, that is a come-out-from-here boulder. And this leads to the other side, I believe. Because I remember this setup. Interesting. Is there a Pokeball all the way over here? Oh, hey, Nose Pass. I think Psychic Rock? Defog is the only route, and we'll have to run back and grab him. Hmm. 
Get schmacked, nose pass. And, yep, item. <laughs> rock polish. You can smash the rocks, you can polish the rocks, you can fuck the Geodudes, whichever way you want. Man, there's just a lot of different Pokemon in Mount Coronet for some reason. <laughs> Didn't expect it. <laughs> Silas is just at this weird place where if only he was, like, stronger, we could force our way through some of them. And plus, I don't want to use up his Force Palms. Hmm. I will put Indigo in front so to try and smash things a bit. They should add Lancelot to Smash Bros. I wonder what, like, an Empoleon's moveset would even be. Die by the power of leaves. Why don't you make like a tree and leaf and die? But we shall go grab Defog. More than likely, we can just leave Nova behind, but hmm. Let me see. Yeah, because we don't have teleport anymore, so. If we do leave Nova, that could, hmm. More than likely, we'll actually leave Shine, because Shine is primarily Dark-type, but Amp has Dark-type moves in a pinch. So that would probably be the best way to keep our typing round, as well as give us the ability to move around with Fly. Like, I'd like to power through the, D, like, the fog area. But fog just horrible status condition to deal with. I don't wanna I don't wanna. So sorry, Shine, and your your cool shades. We'll come back for you once we get through Mount Coronet. Let's see, D Fog. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> so out of curiosity, uh, Snow Point City is our next destination. If it is the place next to Lake Acuity, then yes. I don't, I don't know, like, the names of places. I'm bad with, like, specific names. Except for Lake Acuity for some reason. It just stuck out of my mind. I didn't, uh, I didn't even have to look it up. Which is impressive for me. Yeah, we're gonna go up there, probably check out Snow Point City, save, get Nova back so that we can then see how badly Barry has gotten his ass beat. Probably get there in time for them to blow up another lake. I just realized, technically there's only two lakes in this place now. One of them is just gone. Are oh, they gonna be like, we need to get Kyogre over here to fill up the lake again. Use the power of strong. Yeah, otherwise it's just wandering around trying to find the right way. Try to go about do... Fight Galactic, fight Gym Leaders. Basically it. I probably could have killed him with the, the Magical Grass, but Annihilation. Yep, and acquire the Snow Point Gym Badge. Acquire the Snow Point Gym Bay. Now we will have a na uh, like a, a helmsman. Doot doot. It's the nose pass. But his, pa his nose does not pass. Get obliterated by the power of grass. And remember everybody, remember to stay hydrated and kill God. Do, do, do. Yeah, just have to get through all these random encounters. 
get through to the Mount Coronet. Again, I really like the detail of, like, the little spiky, like, fur bits on Gardevoir's head. It just looks nice. And I feel like it's a detail that's not included on much Gardevoir fan art. Or maybe I was just not paying attention to him. Alright, Defog, do your one and only thing. I, I, I'm i still annoyed that it's, like, a mandatory thing. Oh, yeah, we already got the, the diddly D. I'm just so glad that they eventually get rid of HMs entirely. They just, it doesn't feel good to use. Especially because it's just, like, this entire game, you're supposed to be, like, raising these Pokemon, battling with them. It's all about strategy. And then, like, aside from Surf, none of the HMs feel all that usable in combat. Like, it'd be one thing if the HMs were actually viable. Alright, this is a big-ass room. And that's a powerful as fuck Bronzor. I swear, I was... Like, I, honestly, I don't want to deal with killing you, so we're just going to move on. Plus, you're, like, single evolution. Yeah, this is big, big... Also, I believe this is where Feebas resides. Maybe if I ever stream Platinum again in the future. Like, I don't know, I go through all the Pokemon games. Stream some other things, and I get an itch for Pokemon again. We'll go through it again. I'll go for, like, Chimchar and then grab a Feebas here. How dare you survive. Your fainting is failing, so now you're gonna faint for real. You're gonna faint with an A, not an E. Idiot. The only reason that I'm not just... You seem like, uh, repels, is because we do need to level up Silas. We do indeed need to level him up. So die to the power of nature, even though you are partly nature. Other side of nature declares you die. So be gone. interesting music that's playing in here. It has an interesting vibe to it. <laughs> we'll go ahead and smash this rock. I wonder why they set just random breakable rocks. Just not even blocking anything. It's just a thing that you could just walk around, maybe. The illusion of choice. It's the big rock boy. Rock man. Here to die again. Magical Leap! Fun fact, Maylene forces herself to get Frostbite constantly. Masochists exist in the Pokémon world. Fear them. Also, I just realized I don't have any, like, Fire-type Pokémon. Or, like, Fire moves. Huh. Yeah, I guess I'll send out Amp to blast you because we can. Might as well give you a chance to attack me. Of course, you use that move. I still stand by that confusion really should just be a status effect that, like, occupies the status effect bar. Because it's an annoying thing to deal with. It's like random on how long it lasts. It can compound on top of sleep. It's just wiggly wonkly and I hate it. Good, you didn't hit yourself three times in a row. 
which would be illegal in 50 states. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I guess we can, like, float around, see if there's anything on the other side. Oh, hey, Pokeball. Also, I recently watched a short, and apparently, in Diamond and Pearl, the swim, sea, the, the swim speed was the same as walking. And then, like, because apparently in... Uh, dang, it can't capture it to the side. That's what I wanted. But, like, during the Hoenn games, they're like, there's a lot of water. How about we may speed up the the surf speed? But then they reverted it for Diamond and Pearl for some reason. I swear if I run into a Feebas while I'm just swimming around, I'll be actually kind of annoyed. Dum, 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 dum. And just there's, like, no real reason to beat up the Zubats. This first evolution... Don't get much experience, so just run away. Then again, I think Feebas requires the pole to find, which is act which feels like it's extra just mean. A max elixir. Would be amusing if it was like, so yeah, this, this lake seems like it was purely made to torture people looking for Feebas. I completely forgot that I still had strength active. <laughs> Why? Because you wanted a Feebas? When I started Platinum, I was like, oh, there's Feebas in here. I think I'll get a Feebas. But then, like, the longer I went in, like, I figured, like, oh, I can't really justify having Empoleon, Lancelot, and a Feebas Melodic. So I kind of gave up on it. And I don't think you can get a Feebas in Generation... Five before, like, you, you get to the post game, if it even exists there in the post game. Maybe in Generation 6, I don't know if Feebas exists there. <laughs> Basically, I'll, I'll be on the close lookout for any Pokemon generation that has Feebas in it and doesn't have a water type starter that I want to go with. <laughs> For some reason, like, I just realized, out of the four mainline Pokemon games that I've, like, done since I started, like, my Poke Marathon, which was Pokemon, well, I guess technically Pokemon Yellow, that doesn't count, because you can only go with Pikachu, but if it wasn't Pokemon Yellow, since I never played it before, I would have gone with Squirtle, and then... In Generation 2 Pokemon Crystal, I went with, uh, Totodile. Only reason that I didn't go with, like... Well, then again, I guess all of the Hoenn starters are pretty good. It would pretty much have been a toss-up all around. <laughs> Only reason I went with, Gro like, uh... I, s I said Grovile, even though it's Trico to begin with, is because Trico was my rescue team partner Pokemon. And Grovile is an important character in Explorers, so... Very well could have gone with Mudkip in Generation 3 otherwise. And man, there's still just like a ton of spin-off games I need to play. I need to play the Pokemon Ranger games. Apparently there's three? I thought there was only two. Then I also need to play like, uh... Pokemon Conquest, I think it is? A spin-off crossover with, like, a historical tactics RPG game. It's just, like, so many. And now I need to find the way out, which I think is just right up here in this corner. So if you want, you can just avoid that entire section. That entire lake. You can just ignore it, which is amusing. I find that highly amusing. Do do 
do do do do do Ah, level up for Indigo. Oh, should we throw in front next? Plus, Indigo is running low on moves, I guess. Uh, Amp is damaged because of fucking Confuse Ray. I can't really put you in because there's a bunch of rock dudes. I guess Lancelot just to do things. Lancelot is the logical answer. And I want to see what's over here. For some reason this... For some reason this feels familiar. This does feel familiar. Why is this like the second cave? Never melt ice. Yeah, there was another room that just had like a singular item in the middle. And had this like same setup of exit to the left, way up right. Upright was just a... I don't know. Brain. Meh. Don't. 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 But yeah, overall, my brain has been quite mean to me today. Because I've been wanting to try and, like, do more writing and drawing. But brain is just being an bastard. <laughs> Reggie Ice Room. I also forgot. Can you get the Reggies in this? I don't know. I am an uninformed fool. Well, that's a... That's a baseline. Hey, Silas, want to see if you can beat up any of the people up here? Oh, we can actually fall into the snow. <laughs> no, not really. It's complicated. Wait a minute. Isn't... I think I might have heard about this. Does it have anything to do with Reggie Gigas? Where you need the Reggies to get Reggie Gigas to then get the Reggies? Like you need the Reggies from Hoenn to come here into Sinnoh to get Reggie Gigas to then get the Sinnoh Reggies. Is that what it is? I think I remember reading about this. I'm an elite battler, but cold is my nemesis. That's right. That's so dumb. Why? Why would you do that? What is that circular hellhole? <coughs> well, I think you're gonna die, Silas. We're gonna give you one good schmack. Kill him. Okay, good. He didn't kill you, but he still did a ton of damage. Force palm. Talk to the hand. He'll probably live. He lived, goddammit. Oh, but he's paralyzed. And he didn't do too much. Oh, but hail. It's so ridiculous. Why, Game Freak? Why? It is a very much a weird... Just... Yeah, why would you? Why would you do something like that? Like... It's such a weird thing. I can't really think, because I... Because, yeah, sure, you could get the Reggies from a previous game. But why why would you make it do that? Why would you make it do that? It makes no sense. Oh, Porygon 2. The sequel. I believe it's a normal type, which... Damn it, would have been perfect for you, Silas, to also kill him with. But, uh... I guess we'll send out Amp. It's like, was, did, was there somebody working at Game Freak at the time for, like, Generation 3 and Generation 4, and they were just like, I want to make it so that the Reggies are some of the most scuffed Pokemon to get. I want to make it so that you have to read Braille in the third game. And I protested the inclusion of a Braille alphabet in the manual. But then in Generation 4, I want you to not only <laughs> require... It's like, it just wanted to route everybody back to Generation 3. It's like, read Braille. Get the Reggies there. It just, it's, I cannot conceive of a single logical reason why you would ever, ever make it so circular and weird. Oh, 
fine. We'll crunch. We'll try to get you to flinch. Because that recovered a lot. Rakava is evil. Why? Are you trying to stall me out in the hail? Is that what you're trying to do, you bitch? Fine then. I will swap out to Indigo and I will blast you with psychic power. Which is more powerful? Technology or psychics? I wonder what conversion 2 is. I wonder why it failed. Usually when things fail, it's because they're super powerful. Psychic. Blow this circuitry's mind. <laughs> well, at least that was a good time to get a critical hit with a recover spamming doodah. But how? Am I weak at battling too? Yes. You are a weakling. You are dumb. You are ugly. No one loves you. You will never find happiness. Your Pokemon right there, they hate you too. They will leave you to die when it gets too cold. They will not miss you. No one will. No one will miss you at all. Not even me, and I just met you. <laughs> nice opinion. One small issue. I have planted a landmine in an undisclosed location in your house. Every step you take is a risky move. The ultimate way to win a debate. I, I, I was gonna go further, but then I just turned and bubbly be. If I didn't have Umbreon, I would probably get you. But also you're part ice, and ice is a bad typing. So uh, talk to the hand. Congratulations, you have done not much. Now I killed you. Blast. You know, it'd be neat if you could play as, like, a Sneasel as the, like, main character of a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. Have it be, like, an option. It's like, there's. this is kind of why I wish Swords Dance, I think, is a good buff move. Oh, no. A frenetic dance to uplift the fighting spirit. It sharply raises the user's attack stat. Oh boy. Hmm. An all-out attack that becomes more powerful the less HP the user has. So I guess I should get rid of quick attack. So that I can sword stance and then they hit me. I go down, blast them. <laughs> I wish ice was a better typing, but I just keep hearing that it's just like, Oh yeah, it's not all that good, which is just sad. Fun thing, I bought a, a box of Paldean Fates and got the $100 Charizard card. It paid for itself, if you're willing to sell it. <laughs> I find it funny that people, like, super value Pokemon cards. Like, I guess I can kind of get it. It's just amusing. There's a lot of revives out here in the darkness. But yet, yeah, as I was going to say, before I got off track after I talk to you. To be ready to answer any call, to be ready to accept any challenge, that is the way of a trainer. But yeah, this is kind of why I really like Legends Arceus's way of, like, doing things. Because there are so many good Pokemon, but it's obvious that, like, you can't really balance... Pokemon the way I'd like, which is basically have it be so that your Pokemon are strong enough that you can, like, swap out Pokemon. Like, oh, you can train up 12 Pokemon and have them be at an adequate level just by playing the game so you can, like, swap them. It's like, oh, I like this Pokemon. I like this Pokemon. Instead of, like, being forced to use just your main team and rarely swapping out to other Pokemon unless you're willing to grind them up like I did for Silas. Because, like, there's so many good Pokemon. I'd like to raise up a Sneasel. Maybe make him a Weavile. But we just, like, I don't want to dedicate the time and the, the spacing. I need, like, a good diddly D on the team, like, good typings. 
You need to worry about typings. You need to worry about composition. You need to worry about being underleveled. It's just a lot to worry about. So you can't really train up multiple Pokemon teams to swap around between that you like. But it felt like I could in Legends Arceus. I don't know. Well, eventually we'll probably get to me playing Legends Arceus on stream again. Because I do have, like, my first initial It Just Came Out, I'm Gonna Stream It series from, like, two years ago now. Jesus Christ. Asuda Wudo. You're a rock type. I'm gonna send out Silas to murder you. <laughs> I'm gonna hoard it until the uh, it goes up in price. The $100 Charizard card. And then watch. It magically goes down in price. My best friend didn't really like Legends Arceus. I guess I can understand. It depends on, like, what you want. Out of the whole thing. Now I just need to hope I go first. Aha! But yeah, like, with Legends Arceus, you need, like, it depends on what you expect out of it. Because... If you go in expecting just, like, a normal Pokemon game, it's not really... Because it's very heavy on the... Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, eat Snowball, punk! <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I've been assaulted by a trainer. But, like... Because it's so heavy on the catching Pokemon, doing the, po uh, the Pokedex aspect, and maybe people don't like the timeline-based combat system... But I really liked Pokemon Arceus, Pokemon Legends Arceus. When it comes to, like, mainline Pokemon games, because for some reason the Pokemon company considers Legends Arceus a mainline Pokemon game, I don't, I don't understand. I personally would call it a spin-off, but it's a, it's a mainline. Uh, it is my favorite mainline Pokemon game, with Explorers of Sky being my favorite Pokemon game, period. Speaking of Pokemon Legends, are you excited for Legends Z through A? It depends, because we know next to nothing about it. I'm fully kitted up and equipped, any time will be fine. Because it's mostly due to the fact that we know nothing about Legends Z through A. Or maybe just Z A. Because... It's just like, there's a lot of bibbidi bop. When it comes to the trailer, it doesn't really reveal anything. The trailer shows kind of aged, old-timey, like, shot and feeling redevelopment plan papers for Lumios. And then has a holographic, like, showing of, like, either what they hope the, the city to be or what the, the city will be in the future. So... We don't know if it's going to be in the past. We don't know if it's just in the present, maybe a little bit into the future, like five seconds. We just, there's not much to go on, especially with that one, bub bu bu that one tweet from the, like, main Twitter account that said that it takes place entirely within the, the, the city of Lumios, which I just don't buy at all. That wouldn't make sense for a Legends game, Unless they're trying to make Legends there, we're going to try things experimentally, like, line of games, which I personally don't think I'd like much. Because I really, really like Legends Arceus. So, if they super-duper change Legends ZA in terms of gameplay, like, I just I don't know what they're going to do with it. Because... Maybe they could put in the Pokedex by having it be like, oh, you're part of the redevelopment plan. How about you go through this much bigger Lumio City and catalog the different kinds of Pokemon that are here? Are they a danger? How do they work with the city inhabitants? How can we build the city so that it's a beautiful, like, harmonization of humans and Pokemon? Like, that could be a thing. But, like, there's no real knowing of, like, the main thing, like, are you a novice or are you mid-level? Because it's just... If it's a Legends game, I'm going to expect it to include a decent amount of, like, 
the Legends Arceus Pokedex stuff. Because that was part of my, one of my favorite things in Legends Arceus was filling out the Pokedex. At least to, like, 10 points, not perfecting each page. That's too much on my, too much for me. But I also, d like, don't feel like having it just be in the city would be able to work properly. Unless there was a good, like, framing device to make it work, but it just feels like you would limit yourself on how, like, which kinds of Pokemon would appear in Lumio City if it was entirely within the city and only in the city. Unless it's, like, meant to be a fake-out where they're like, oh, it takes place entirely in the city, then something happens with, like, Xerneas, Yvatel, Zygarde, and then you have to leave the city to stabilize the region and thus stabilize the city. Like, maybe that's what could happen. Yahoo! The lot seen better days, but relax, make yourself at home. But yeah, that's another thing. I'm interested in what they'll do with the legendaries. Because it is a Pokemon Legends game. So, obviously the legendary Pokemon will be playing a decent role in the game. I always play for keeps, this isn't practice. Because, like, in Legends Arceus, there's the Diamond Tribe and the Pearl Tribe, and both of them worship their Sinnoh, one part space, one part time, not realizing that there are two gods and then one god that made them whole, and then when there was, like, a, a third god that's their sibling, it's, like, a whole thing. But... Legends had the legendary, like, Ar Legends Arceus had the legendaries play a big role in the story. So I just wonder what role Xerneas of Life, Yvatel of Death, and Zygarde of Nature, I believe, are going to play within the story. Because I just, I wonder, I wonder what... For some reason, I thought you were psychic. Are you just normal? I forget. I, you are a weird little man. But yeah, like... I am hopeful that since Legends Arceus was so good, that ZA will also be good. And it can touch on things like as the, the Floet, and other such things, the weapon, maybe. I don't know much about X and Y. I just hear vague things roundabout. Let's see. You're flying, so you can die to amp. <laughs> I try to speak, and then my throat kills me. Hear me out. So it starts in Lumia City. You weren't sent back in time. You're just an outsider who, <coughs> who moved, or a normal citizen. But it shows reports of Pokemon going crazy with greenish glow. Maybe. My idea is like, uh... They're obviously going to have Mega Evolution, even if they didn't have the, like, teaser of, like, ooh, the Mega Evolution symbol. They were obviously going to have Mega Evolution be in the game no matter what. And I theorize that they're going to want to put the Alphas in the game again, like how there were Alphas and Hisui. But this time, they're going to explain it that there are Alpha Pokemon because they've absorbed Mega Energy from, like, the the Mega Evolution Stones or whatever. And they didn't Mega Evolve, but they did change and become stronger and bigger from Mega Evolution energy that they couldn't properly... Blah, blah, blah. Ghost type. I think Dark Annihilates you. But yeah, there's also, like, the theory I've seen that, like, uh, people are gonna, uh, I've seen the theory where people are saying it might be a game that takes place going back and forth between time. Like, the older, like, styled redevelopment papers and then the futuristic hologram. Not, not exactly sure. Because there was also that bit where the hologram, you like, we see the hologram from 
above, and then it transitions to the old, like, sketch development papers again. Like how it started with. So, it's entirely possible that there is time travel. And again, it, it, it's mostly due to the fact that we've only had one Legends game, so we don't have much precedent. But... A lot of people are assuming that time travel has to be involved somewhat because that's part of Legends to a degree. Like, ooh, seeing important things. Like, even if we didn't know about them, important legendary events and such still happen and the past and stuff. That's why they're Legends, bleh. So, like, I don't know. Again, we don't have much precedent of anything. So we can't just say, it's like, oh, well, Legends Arceus had us time travel. But at the same time, again, that's what kind of makes it exotic to a degree. Being able to be like, ooh, we're being far removed from the mainline timeline and stuff. So we don't have to be uh, too worrisome of the mainline canon. So I don't know. You're theorizing just as much as Tyranitar Tube. I have no idea who that is. But yeah. Because, again, like, they're definitely going to bring back Alphas, I feel like, since that's kind of a an interesting thing that L Legends Arceus began. And even though they might not want to just reuse Alphas straight up, they can use... Mega Evolution as a kind of middle wave point. Again, like, ooh, these random Pokemon didn't Mega Evolve, but they sure changed a little bit. Got bigger, got glowing Mega uh, mega Eyes. Like, that could be an interesting way to have Mega Evolution and, uh, like, Alphas in there. Oh, Neon! Um, are you maybe on your way to Snowpoint City? That's where I'm going, too. If I use Fly, I can get there instantly, but I'm walking for my training. I have no problem with this. I'm used to the cold because I... I go barefoot and lightly dressed. <laughs> oh, that was nothing, really. I'm not cold at all. I'll be going now. Take care. Masochist. <laughs> yeah, I don't think alphas will ex exactly will stay, but there will be something similar. Exactly. Something that fills the alpha slot while being uniquely its own thing. This cold is n but nothing compared to the fire that burns in my heart. But yeah. An alpha, like, substitute is definitely going to come on in and exist. Then... ba ba ba, And again, there needs to be... Like, uh... More... Like, uh, presence from the legendaries. Oh, and regional variants. Regional variants need to also exist in Legend ZA. I have no idea what kind of led, like, uh, blah, blah, blah. Because some things that are definitely going to happen, they're probably going to continue the way of things where the starters you get in Legend ZA won't be the same as from the region's home game. So it's not going to be Finnegan and the other ones. I'm I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm terrible remembering the starters from there. But yeah, there's going to be a regional variant for their final evolutions, so... But there's also probably going to be mega evolutions for the starters' <laughs> regional variants, so that's going to be interesting. Ooh, that's one thing. How many of, like, the regional variants in the game itself are going to get Megas? Or will they give Megas to pre-existing Pokemon and then have regional variants be their own thing? There's lots they can do. And... And again, I really, really want there to be more presence from the legendaries because I keep hearing from people since I, I've never beaten X and Y <laughs> your heart burns as hot as mine but yeah I never beat X and Y I got far enough that I had a Sylveon I 
do not remember much at all in the ways of, like, the early game. So I don't have much opinion on it. I remember liking it decently, but I did not get that far in it. But I keep hearing from people that Yevatel and Xerneas were not really used all that much. And Zygarde is infamous because... They were kind of setting up like, ooh, Zygarde is interesting, isn't it? And then it took until, like, Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun to finally have any resolution on what was going on there. You're gonna get hypothermia, kid. Uh, here's a... Uh, Here's my theory. We know the player character from Legends of Arceus was called by the past because of Arceus. So assuming that Arceus never returned them to the present day... Uh, bu -bu -bu. I'm assuming they made a family in character from Legends ZA. Uh, they are a descendant of the character. That's my theory, at least. Hmm. Maybe. But at the same time, I think it would be interesting if... Like, it was just Arceus constantly summoning people to fix it, the mistakes of legendary events. It's just like, oh no, there's not, an, like, somebody good enough to fix this issue. I've got to yoink somebody from some time. Even though I, uh, it's, like, never explained why Ingo was there in his suite. I wonder if they're going to <laughs> hold off on the utter temptation of throwing Emmett through time as well. Again, I personally would throw Emmett into the Super- the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon universe. <laughs> I personally would do that to Emmett. Because I think that would be funny. I heard a cool idea for ZA. The Zygarde cells act as some power-up or something, and there are a bunch of Pokemon with Zygarde cells. As you defeat Pokemon, you collect more and more cells until everything happens with Zygarde. One theory that I had, ish, I'll show you the techniques I had drummed into me at ski school, is that Legends Arceus had very cool ride Pokemon. So my theory is, what if Zygarde is all of the ride Pokemon? Because Zygarde has multiple forms, right? I could see like the dog like Zygarde be the run around and jump Pokemon maybe, but then at the same time I don't know much about Zygarde's different forms so he might not have all that really good for being a ride Pokemon. Then again, they might continue the tradition where regional variants are the ride Pokemon. Important regional variant Pokemon. Which is also partly why, in a way, they kind of have to throw you through time to really explore or, like, re-explore regions in this way. Hell, maybe have Zygarde try and take back Lumios Attack on Titan style, and you have to do something with Xerneas and Yevatel, or have Xerneas and Yevatel going crazy and make Zygarde come uh, cool their shit down. Could be because... It's called Pokemon Legend ZA, which, yes, is a reference to Az, I believe. But it's also a reference to Zygarde, because it's like a green Z. So, Warosphere! Dang it, there's so many moves that I want you to have. The user loses a blast of aura power from deep within, and this move is certain to hit. Ooh. Hmm. Six. Do I could get rid of Force Palm. This is basically a. But special. This raises its attack. Hmm. Zygarde currently has three forms a dog, a snake, and a giant man. But I, just, I, I don't know what they do with, like, Xerneas and Yvitel, because. Because, again, I hear that they didn't really do much with them. Hmm. Darn it. It's like, Orisphere would go 
great in the Rock Smash place, but bleg. I guess I could get rid of Reversal. Hmm. I'm not smart enough for the difference between special and, like, physical. Uh, 10 percent form aka the dog form 50 percent form Zygarde's default and complete form the forms that looks like a perfect cell in a way <laughs> the aura trio is kind of similar to the weather trio of Zygarde being the Rayquaza when the balance of life and death goes to shit Meh. so I could definitely see Zygarde be like a important important thing I'm just hmm. I guess I'll get rid of force palm. Then I can, like, Sword Stance for, uh, like, Aura Sphere, and then Reversal when he gets low. I think that's the, just the best way to balance it. But yeah, like, Yvitel and Xerneas have to be important to the plot somehow. And again, I keep hearing that they weren't really covered all that well in their original game, so this is kind of a do-over for them in that way. Get Aura Sphered, idiot. And plus also kind of a do-over for Zygarde as well. And like, I don't know much about Generation 6, so I can't fully... Like, comment on it to fully theorize it. I just heard whispers of like, ooh, the weapon. The really old guy. The, the war from 3,000 years ago. Rainy days make me feel blue, but the incident starts to snow, I'm as happy as can be. But I also wonder if they're like... Because, like, obviously they can't just copy Legends Arceus and be like, Ooh, here's a group of people that follow Xerneas. Here's a group of people that follow Yvitel. Considering that Yvitel is death and Xerneas is life, I don't think Pokemon's going to have a death cult. I'll have to pick up XY before ZA comes out for a refresh on the game and story. Depending on how I choose my Pokemon games, I might get to XY before Legend ZA comes out. Because I at least... Because... <laughs> buh buh if I beat this game and then go on to G, uh, GTI, uh, Gates to Infinity, like, that'll take a little bit. And then, I want to... Then it would depend if I really, really feel amped to play more Mystery Dungeon. I could just jump into Super Mystery Dungeon. Or I could then break off, take a break from Mystery Dungeon to play get the black and white one. And then there's black and white two. So there's like two main diddly Ds before X and Y. Of course I'm going to feed the iron to my steel boy. Make him a super duper. Yeah, I'm just going to soup up Silas. He is the boy. I'm gonna... <laughs> there are no gummies to give him in this world, so I give him vitamins. <laughs> Gen 5 jump scare. Exactly. That reminds me, I really should, like, draw... There are several clans of ninjas. Are you from the Iga clan or Kuga? Why is there a U in there? It's Koga, isn't it? But this reminds me, I really should get around to drawing, like, the uh, starter Pokemon that I'm going to go with when I get to Gates to Infinity. <laughs> At least it's easier because there's only, like, a, <laughs> a small selection. I keep forgetting what type you are. I think you're just Bug. But I forget what bug is weak against. I think bird? Does anyone know that feeling wherever you get water in your nose or something, then it starts uh, burning randomly? It's terrible. I think it's called... I don't think... Water log, my brain says? But I think that's different. I will say you're not wrong about Xerneas and Yevtel not getting the limelight. They should have been deserved. 
which is which is why I hope that they focus on them in ZA. They're not going to focus on the war too much. It might just be a background thing. They mention it like how they did presumably in XY. Again, I've never played it. I just hear the whispers. But I just hope that they focus on the legendaries. I just hope it has a cool story. I hope that it keeps the Pokedex gameplay of Legends Arceus and frames it again because if I remember correctly from what people are saying, X and Y was all about beauty and harmony with the Pokemon, the beauty of human and Pokemon and stuff. Beauty, beauty, beauty. So I could see it being somebody like, the city will be beautiful, so therefore we need to know how Pokemon and humans interact in this city environment. Go catalog how Pokemon and humans interact and shit. And that can be like a C plot of the game or maybe B plot, but then people might be like, oh, but it's the Pokedex again from Legends Arceus. As if the Pokemon series hasn't been derivative for decades of you just going through the league circuit gathering badges and stuff, man. I dislike it when people are selective in their criticisms. It's like, oh, but the past game did that. This is Pokemon. Every single Pokemon game has been like the past Pokemon games. That is why we are playing these Pokemon games. Because it is like Pokemon. <laughs> I do not mind if it keeps the Pokedex gameplay. Because the Pokedex gameplay was good. Oh, hey, Rock Climb. I think this is going to be another defog moment. <laughs> Scroopy is bug poison. Bug is weak to rock, flying, and fire. Probably more. While I was fighting my way through this blizzard, I dropped an HM. If I still had that hidden move, rock climb, I'd be able to scale sheer cliffs. Hey, what's this? You found the hidden machine? But I'd already given it up for lost, and you found it. It's yours to keep, my friend. Make good use of it. I like your honesty, though. Let me reward you with this. Why do you have a piece of Arceus? Three beings were born to bind time and space. That icicle plate I found that under the snow as well. I'm no expert, but it looks to be ancient in origin. Even as old as the time when Sinnoh came into being. I loved Pokemon Legends Arceus because it treated Dialga and Palkia as true gods. The first encounter you have in this, uh, have the slow version of the original theme, and then the other one they turn into eldritch beings. Uh, say what you want about the origin forms, but the backstory for them is really cool. I quite like them, because they really did sell them as, like, eldritch gods, as these unknowable beings. Basically, kind of like how the... One second. We skiers feel Mother Nature through the soles of our feet. But, like, the enraged origin forms are almost like what... I forget his name, but, like, the major, like, leader of the galaxy team town. Like, the warlord guy. He sees Pokemon as kind of monstrous and unknowable and animalistic, so... The origin forms kind of reflecting that as they rage out is kind of cool. And plus, it just makes sense to give them origin forms, considering that... Giratina already had a origin form, so it just brings them up to par. Commander Kamado, yes. I'm bad with names. I like the game, but I don't really remember names. When they turn into them, it's supposed to be them mimicking Arceus to try and gain more power. Whoever is mimicking, they also lose, but make them them. Yep. Oh, wait, the gym battle? We're still climbing the mountain. which allows me to level up the dear boy. <laughs> Skia Bjorn. Plus, I've just been rambling on my thoughts of what Legend ZA is going to be like. I have high hopes. I just, like, we know nothing about it. The, the, the most that we can do is compare it to Legends Arceus, and even then, we don't know what they're going to take. I've been skiing with Pokemon since I was just five years old. I've broken five bones. Dialga's throat is obstructed, losing its roar of time. Palkia loses its arms, making it unable to use spatial rend. I know they can still use them, but still, like, lore. Visually, at least, it does seem like they are losing parts of themselves to try and attain Arceus. Meanwhile, funnily enough, 
Dialga's origin form feels more like it breaking away from Arceus than trying to steal parts of it for himself. I have found Rock Clyde. No idea who I'm going to give it to, though. I don't even know who can learn it. Hmm. I just really dislike... Hmm. I'm going to assume that ice is good against water. Yeah, I don't really think I have anything that's strong against ice, except maybe Silas. I think fighting is good. Psychic! I was lost there for a moment. Yeah, it's just like, from the teaser trailer, we don't really have much to go on in regards to what Legend ZA is going to be. We can say that there's probably going to be mega-influenced alphas, that there's probably going to be, like, uh, more emphasis on the legendaries, Due to the fact that Legends Arceus was big on the time travel, there might be time travel for Legends ZA, but that's not guaranteed. Is your power out? A person? A rare sight. Thank you for visiting. A gift. Oh. You're not alive, are you? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> you talk too weird. <laughs> I'm using the dazzling machine on my Poke Poke Etch. I'm looking for things under buried snow. Ah, and there's the ice stone for Glacion. Hello, hello. We are climbing a mountain, trudging through snow, and rambling about what we think Legends ZA is going to be like. I just hope it's good. Hello, weird man. I will fight you. I just like wherever I go. Pia! We fight for you. I heard somebody say that if the game isn't cyberpunk like futuristic setting, like in the trailer, then it's blatant false advertising. Considering that I'm fairly certain that past Pokemon games have included like hologram things in the past, that's just an insipid thing to say. <laughs> Buddy. Chum, pal, it's a teaser trailer. Exactly. There just isn't much to go on. And plus, like, sure, futuristic Pokemon, I think, like, could make sense because I believe, uh, buh, 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 Scarlet and Violet, that's its whole thing. Like, ooh, super past to super future. So maybe some delving into the future stuff in a Pokemon Legends game wouldn't be crazy. But, like, it's not going to be... It's not false advertising. False advertising is, like, them making a definitive statement and then not being in the game. It's silly. <laughs> I hope Legends EA got a new Mega. I would hope so, too. Like, I got... Like, they're obviously going to bring back Mega Evolution. But if they don't add any new Mega Evolutions, there's definitely going to be a riot. <laughs> There's already not gonna be a riot if Flygon doesn't get an evol a mega evolution. <laughs> There'd probably be a mini riot if the starter regional variants for this, if it's gonna continue down the Legends Arceus path. No idea how they would, like, actually make sense of it. Hey, cool that you have a real loot, dude. But, like, yeah, no idea how they're going to make sense of like Kalos having regional variants to the same degree as Legends Arceus unless time travel is involved, but maybe it could. Hell, maybe it, it could take place slightly in the future where Mega Evolution has seeped into the natural evolution of Pokemon. So now there's regional variants only found in Kalos because of Mega Evolution making permanent revolution because of Mega Energy, maybe. I don't know. There's lots that can go down. I want Mega Flygon, and I know this is a hot take, but please do not make it Bug Dragon. It would make it worse because Bug is an all too great type. <laughs> Achoo! That's what you get for going light. 
When I saw the scene of Palkia getting on all fours, I chose Dialga over Palkia, by the way, I was quite surprised to see its origin form. Horse! Ooh, that has kind of already happened. <laughs> I see that I am going down the obvious treaded path. Maybe it just means it's a good idea. Uh, just in the reverse. <laughs> What is it? Pokemon battle? You're gonna die out here, kid. But yeah, I'm probably just gonna... Pro I'm probably just repeating myself. Why is your Curlia not evolved yet? What is wrong with you? I thought that evolved at level 30. Are you a maniac? What if Megazard Char... Meg Megazard? Mega Charizard Z... It's possible just because they love Charizard, but, like, I... If they want to, like, do extra cool things, no, because Charizard already has two Megas. Do something more interesting, please. Uh, it's hinted in uh, Scarlet Violet, but it'd spoil a Pokemon and a Dex entry. <laughs> Probably about the, like, future and... Past stuff, or maybe the Mega Evolution, I don't know. Here. But yeah, my theory is that for Legend ZA, the starters are going to be Pokemon that don't have Mega Evolutions yet. And, uh, well, it depends, because, like, again, if they're going down the route of making the final evolution be a unique regional variant compared to their home regions, then I guess it's possible it could be Charizard, so that we'd get a regional variant Charizard and then Charizard Z on top of it, which could be interesting. But at the same time, it's so predictable, and Charizard already gets so much, like, attention, I feel like they'd be better off not doing that. Like, although it'd be, although it would be hilarious if they made Mewtwo Z somehow, and it is still in the past. It was like, Arceus utes you to the past. By the way, here's this genetic abomination from the future. I think that'd be funny. But yeah, just the... Just right now, we have nothing to go on. I do... I have heard the theory that Legend ZA might be inspired by the real-life redevelopment of Paris. So it is entirely possible that it will take place in the past, because apparently the redevelopment of Paris that uh, is specifically being referenced by people theorizing is... Uh, that redevelopment took place in the real world around the same time as, I believe it's called the Settlement of Akaido in Japan, which is what the overall, like, region stuff from Legends Arceus is uh, based on. <laughs> Charizard gets too much love. Meowth with two regional forms and an exclusive evolution and a Gigantamax. To be fair, Meowth is an underdog. Charizard is just, like, front and center in everything. Meowth gets specific love here or there. Sure, there's probably more Pokemon who are, like, underdogs and deserve more than, like, uh, getting a bit more attention than Meowth, but at the same time, Charizard is mascot level compared to Meowth. It's one of those weird things. Hello, Barry. Hey, Neon. What, you finally come along now? Slow. Way too slow. Listen, Neon, see how the rocks are all lumpy here? You can't climb these rocks until you get the Snowpoint Gym Badge. Anyway, I'm off, Team Galactic. I'm coming for you. <laughs> the only large role he's had is being Leon's ace. <laughs> Pikachu with 16 forms. Probably more with all the hat ones. 
We've got Surfing Pikachu. We've got the various Hat Pikachus. There's Captain Pikachu in the new show that's coming out in like five days. I could have sworn that it was already out. Gonna be honest. Or maybe it's the English dub that's finally coming out. And the, 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 the sub had been out for a while. I do not know. I am a fool. Hello, Sneasel. You are going to die. Any, uh, anytime else he isn't showed in your face, must love he's getting his uh, Gigantamax slightly before Blastoise and Venusaur and getting two Megas. How many Pokemon have gotten two Megas aside from Mewtwo and Charizard? At this point, I'm willing to hazard none. Ooh, my brain just went, what if Xerneas and Yevatel get Mega Forms? Considering that Palkia and Dialga got Origin Forms, what if Xerneas and Yevatel get Mega Forms, considering that Mega Evolution's coming back? I think that'd be cool. But yeah, with Charizard, it could just be that since he's mascot status, he just appears all over the place. So, like, even if other Pokemon do get decent amount of love, it still feels like Charizard has, like, a lot going on. Charizard's mom has it going on. Oh, wait, that was an actual question. I thought you were just saying it sarcastic as a point. No, I genuinely don't know if other Pokemon have two Mega Evolutions besides Mewtwo and Charizard. A great trainer recognized by the Pokemon League. I look forward to carrying someone like that on this ship. And your freaky-ass drill ship. Yeah, not to disrespect our lord and savior Arceus, but isn't it kind of lazy uh, to have Arceus send someone from the present to the past every single time a crisis happens? To be fair, Pokemon has you do the same thing each and every game for the past, like, 25 years. 25 plus. Where you go, you fight six, like, eight gyms. And you defeat some criminals along the way. I personally like the idea of being sent to the past by Arceus each game of the Legend series. Because it's just cool. It gives you more possibility of things to happen. You can't argue that it is, like, repetitive. But it's a repetition that gives opportunity. Because you can explore different things by going to different time periods of different regions to more easily justify the existence of, like, why legendaries are doing certain things. How you, like, also, if we go back to the past for Kalos, it justifies us finally getting the special floette without breaking things, timeline-wise. <laughs> and no, just Mewtwo and Charizard. Yeah, I figured. What if, a uh, present to future? That could also be interesting. It could be cool, like, that is a theory, because the hologram and then the construction redevelopment papers have the same overhead thing, so people are theorizing that there is a connection between, like, past and future. So it is possible we might be jumping to the past and future. Like, I don't know how it would go, but I think it could be interesting. Again, have it be the same main character every time, and Arceus just keeps slinging them around time in different places just to patch up the little issues around the timeline. That could also be interesting, but I think that that wouldn't work purely because the Legends Arceus characters are based off of the Diamond, Platinum, and Pearl protagonists. So I'm not sure if that would work too well, even though apparently the tourist t-shirt you wake up in in Legends Arceus is apparently a Kalos one, so maybe. <laughs> wake up, Riley. It's time to go to <laughs> 15 BC. <laughs> you counted Surf, Fly, Nine Hats, Male, Female, Five Costumes, and Gigantamax. And those are all the games only, I presume, for Pikachu forms. <sighs> oh, hi, Neon. Are you taking the gym challenge now? I'm hoping to see Candace soon, but I'm staying put until I warm up again first. Oh, you should know that Candace is a user of Ice-type Pokemon. I really admire Candace. She's so studious. 
She wanted to practice against me to learn about the fighting type. It's because the ice type matches up badly against the fighting type. Silas, you better kill this motherfucker. I guess we can kill you too. 19 forms of Pikachu. And don't forget the 5,000 different hats from Go. <laughs> but yeah. I personally like the idea of there being, like, uh, multiple, like, time traveling going on with the Legend series. Because it'll also set things apart from the Mainline series. Might also justify us not doing the gym circuit as it just doesn't exist or might not exist in the same form. And again, just allows you to do things like collect the floet that was never given out for X and Y. Allows you to explore Zygarde a bit more. Justifies Xerneas and Yvatel going crazy maybe or heavily affecting things. Happens just far enough in the past that it can fade away into the future. Plus, again, like Legends, Johto would be cool. Someday. Because, like, even though I do kind of like the idea of, like, Legends exploring different historical inspiration events of the regions that the... of, like, the countries that the regions are based on. Like, again, the settling of Hokkaido in... Legends Arceus being an inspiration. The redevelopment of Paris being an inspiration potentially for ZA. But having little, like, important Pokemon lore moments still happen would also be cool. <laughs> Spinda with the, like, billions of forms. To be fair, that's a little different. Spinda is a pattern rather than a unique individual form, but I could still, like, see the argument. Candace is teaching me about Pokemon. She says I have to start by making friends of Pokemon. I can't believe Candace is Arceus. I want to take a look around the Snowpoint Temple, but only really tough trainers are allowed inside. There doesn't seem to be many people living here. Or at least that many buildings. <laughs> Explore Zygarde, Rule 34 artist. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. By any chance, do you have a Pokemon called Medicham? If you do, I'd like to trade Medicham for my Haunter. Oh, hey, you're that cunt. No. I love how my girl has so much vivacity and charm. She's a bitch. Look, I don't have strong opinions towards or against Charizard, but I feel like on being called overrated, he has become overhated. I don't overhate. It's just that, like... Charizard is one of those, like, super-tier Pokemon that gets a lot of attention mascot style. Like Pikachu. Like, maybe Eevee? It's difficult to say. I'm biased towards Eevee. Hello, hello. Would you like to hear a trendy saying? Sure. The trend saying thing for would be Omnibus! That's a trendy sort of thing to say. You're a psychopath. Share a color charts with me and I'll teach your Pokemon some moves. Want me to teach a move? Interesting. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> wow, a Haunter that's going to evolve into Gengar and totally isn't holding that stone that prevents evolution. Totally not. <laughs> Hello there. How's it going, champ to be? Did you see the big snowballs placed here or there? You need to slide on the ice with enough momentum to crush them. The uh, gym leader is a user of ice-type Pokemon. Melter defenses have scorching hot fire-type moves. It's all about focus at this gym. Bear down and focus. I literally have no fire-type moves in my entire repertoire. But I do have Lucario. But yeah, rambling about Legends of A is fun. I just have no idea what it's actually going to be, though. Couldn't you say the same thing about Lucario? Eh, not really. Lucario gets a lot of love, but I don't feel like he's mascot level. Hmm. I presume if I slide down, I will break the diddly diddly. Let me just... Oh, you don't block me. 
I want to fight all the people, though. I've only been involved with Pokemon for a short time. I managed to get this far because skilled friends toughened me up. Are you going to go to Snowpoint Temple? I'll try. <laughs> no, no, he's got a point. Has Charizard gotten a life-size plus in a plush in a movie? Maybe. It's a weird thing where, depending on your different definitions, certain Pokemon might be more overrated or, like, get more attention than others. It's just the fact that Charizard feels more mascot-given. Like, again, two Mega Evolutions... He appears a lot in different things. When the Pokemon trainer got axed from Brawl, for, from, a, I believe it was Smash 4, Charizard came back, but not anybody else from the Pokemon trainer. <laughs> well, technically, Lucario is actually Gen 4's mascot. Eh, kind of? It's hard to say that because you get him late... He does have, like, unique stuff about him, but you know, it's hard to say. It's, he's kind of like Zorark to a degree, where he's just like, here is an important Pokemon for this generation, without actually being, like, super duperly a mascot. <laughs> I'd say either Lucario or Garchomp. Garchomp's also a good answer, considering that I believe Garchomp is Cynthia's ace in this game. I can't believe how tough you are! I'm a god. I kill people. Well, my willpower was shaped and tempered by howling blizzards. I'll bring it to bear against you! It, it's just like, depending on like what Pokemon you like and your personal exposure to Pokemon could determine like, what you think is overrated or not. I think overrated is a, a, the wrong word. I think overexposure might be better. Oh, I feel like Charizard is slightly overexposed. Just slightly. It could also be that Charizard gets more attention than the other Pokemon that, like, the other starters from Generation 1. Just sometimes. Does Lancelot have a Steel-type moves? He does. He has a Metal Claw, I believe. I think Eevee could be a better mascot because one, one of the main gimmicks is evolution and has the most evolutions. He cute. <laughs> he cute. Eevee is one of my favorite Pokemon. There's a reason why uh, when I first played like Rescue Team and Explorers of, of Sky way back in the years past that I, I went with Eevee because Eevee is just grand. Also, also apparently... When they were think talking about doing the Let's Go games for Kanto, apparently Psyduck was in the talks to be the second Let's Go mascot alongside Pikachu, which I think is just weird. Eevee was such a good, like, choice for it. And apparently fan art had a bit to do with Eevee being selected. Because, like, oh, we noticed a lot of people really like drawing Eevee. Do you think we'll see Dialga and Palkia in the stream? Depends on when they might show up. I don't know. I have my, my gut feeling says no, but who knows? We might see their statues. <laughs> Each generation's mascot. One, Pikachu. Two, uh, Fr or Togepi? I'd say unknown. Or maybe Suicune. For generation two. It's hard to say. We spend all our time battling in the blizzard of Snowpoint City. We'll show you how it toughens up. Three? Like, if we discount legendaries... Unknown could be... The mascot of Generation 2. Maybe Togepi because of the egg mechanic being introduced. Generation 3... 
Blaziken? Maybe? Generation 4, definitely Lucario. Generation 5, definitely Zorark. Generation 6, my bias says Sylveon. So that's because I'm a biased bitch. I played Let's Go Eevee and then regretted it because I love Scyther and he's exclusive to Let's Go Pikachu. Oh, now that, that is pain. This puzzle is interesting. Ah. For different, at the very least. So I need to go down a slope to be able to blast the snowballs properly. Stairs won't do it all. So then I can. Oops. Gen 6, Greninja. Gen 7, Rowlet. Rowlet slash Decidua, yeah. Hmm. I would say... Like, uh... Oh well, yeah, we haven't gotten to fight you yet. Are you feeling all run down? But a good trainer is the one who wins no matter the situation. Yeah, because it's interesting with Pokemon, like... The mascot for each generation can be slightly different. Especially if we, like, discount legendaries or not. <laughs> Gen 8, not sure. Gen 9, I guess. Fool Coco? Yeah, Scarlet and Violet's generation. Honestly, I'd say Meowskarada. That's the Pokemon I see the most. It's, well, I guess Feel Coco if it's the little, the little dinosaur guy. He's up there too. I guess split between Feel Coco and uh, Meowskarada. Damn it, close combat's good. So if I can. If I can set up Sword Stance and then close combat, oh, that'd be good. That'd be godly. Because this raises attack, this uses attack because it's physical. Honestly, I'm getting rid of reversal. Reversal is situational, close combat is eternal. Not to be taken in a rude way, uh, again, just letting you know, it's Fue... Uh, Fua e coco. Fue e coco. I am sorry. I read badly. English letters are bad for brain. Especially because so many different places pronounce them in different ways. Language be weird. N uh, Gen 9 has spriga uh, sprigagito. Uh, sprigatito. Sprigatito. I keep forgetting that how it's pronounced. A lot like Kecleon. For so long, I thought it was Kesleon, but it's Kecleon. That's right, a good trainer will win no matter the situation. But yeah, overall, it's just like there's so many good Pokemon to choose from. And with so many Pokemon out there and existing, there's always going to be Pokemon that we wish had more attention and there might be some Pokemon that we're, like, resentful for having so much attention. And it all comes down to, like, the Pokemon you like. <laughs> Someone was insistent that it's pronounced Hisui or, uh, or Hisui because that's how they say it in Japanese. Hisui. Like, maybe very fast, but Hisui, I say. When it comes to language, there's really no proper pronunciation because the pronunciation for like a billion things has changed over the years. There's really no point to be like, oh, this is how it's said when so many other things are said differently elsewhere. It's just a whacked out world.
Ba -ba -ba. Okay, just language is difficult. <laughs> How can anyone dislike the little kitty? And it could also be the overexposure. The they might just not like the uh, ha 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 stoner cat memes that people created, which understandable, I suppose. All comes down to personal preference a lot of the time. Uh, he sui is how you're supposed to say it, I think. Hmm. It's hard to say. Then again, I always just... Then again, here I am, heathen that I am, pronouncing what a lot of people agree is pronounced Arceus. And I say, oh, we haven't fought you yet? I thought we fought you. I'm fool. Meanwhile, I pronounce Arceus as Arceus. And yet I, I chicken out and still call it the Arc Phone. Words are words. Say them however you want. So long as you convey the thing, I'd say is decent, is good. Go ahead. According to the Oras trailer, Rayquaza uh, is Ray... Oh, yeah. Because there's Rayquaza, Rayquaza, Tomato, Tomato. I thought it was uh, Unova with the emphasis on the no for the longest time, but apparently it's Unova. Without emphasis on the na. Yanova. That sounds weird. <laughs> Ass phone. But who knows? Words are words. Words do be wordin'. But just like, I do wonder, like, uh, what Pokemon are going to appear in Ba Ba Ba. How do I get to that one? How do I get to that stop? Ah, I see. I see. We get here, and then we go boop, and then that should be the puzzle done. There's just so many Pokemon that would be cool to get in, like, Legend ZA. But at least for me, I almost went away. I'm dumb. I hate the English language. Why are, are red and read different? Why is red and red pronounced the same? Because language is stupid. You want to hate the English language a bit more? You know why, like, OK exists? Apparently it's because, like, in the early 1900s, newspapers were doing this thing where they would abbreviate incorrect words. So technically, OK stands for all correct. Do with that what you will. So, Lancelot is going to be up there with his steel moves. I don't know if anything else is good against you. I don't think any... Like, I think ice might be good. I don't know. We'll play it by ear. Hmm. Arceus and Arceus. Uh, you're welcome to correct me if it's not the pronounce, uh, correct pronunciation. I have no idea what the correct, the correct pronunciation is. I just called Arceus because that's what my mind defaulted to. And people are like, it's like, Arceus. And it's like, yeah, it's a fictional Pokemon. Rayquaza, Rayquaza, Arceus, Arceus. So long as it isn't insane pronunciation. Like, at least with ones like Fue Coco, I believe it was supposed to be pronounced. <laughs> like, that one is a bit more understandable to have a correct one. Ars ooze. <laughs> Arc ooze. So many ways to say it. Sure thing, I was waiting for someone tough. But I should tell you I'm tough because I know how to focus. Pokemon fashion romance, it's all about focus. I guess she romances fashionable Pokemon. I'll show you just what I mean. Get ready to lose. You 
You shall be obliterated under the weight of God. Ooh, you have four Pokemon. Can't wait for Mega, insert any Gen 5 Pokemon other than Hadino to come to Legends, RC, uh, Legends A ZA. Well, that's mean. Luckily, I'm a Steel-type, bitch. You know what would be funny? Mega Sylveon. Like, I know that's not a Gen 5 Pokemon, but my brain just went to it. Mega Sylveon would amuse me. You know, I probably should have used Sword Dance while I was fighting him. I will not switch my Pokemon. Mega Zorark! That would be cool! Uh, but I kind of I kind of doubt that he'll get a Mega Evolution because he got a regional variant in Legends Arceus. Sadness. I call it the first way because I heard it that way in the movie. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, son of a bitch. Earthquake. Is that gonna kill? Son of a bitch that killed. Are fighting weak to rock? Or ground? That's ground. Well, in that case, uh, Nova, don't get earthquaked. You're probably gonna die to the ice beam that's gonna throw at you as I revive Silas. Get. Where is Revive anyway? <laughs> Did I miss Revive in here? Am I blind? There's the Revive. I am blind. <laughs> Haven't trusted the anime since the Kyo Gray and Grudon incident. <laughs> Why is Stone Edge a oh, rock? That makes sense. Me being a dumbass. Why is thing that is logically super effective super effective, I say? Obama Snow's snow warning plus Frostlass Blizzard is a nightmare. Oh no. But sorry, Nova, you had to be a sacrificial lamb. That, you got a fucking crit, you bitch! You whore! You motherfucker! Minions, tonight we steal the moon! Grudon. Who would his minions be? Just. Would his minions just be. Team. Team Magma? That'd be funny. That would amuse me. Cresselia comes down from there to be like, hey, stop. Yes, Lucario is a glass cannon. The only reason it was weak is because Lucario is a steel type. Close combat, please kill. And hey, Frostlass, I don't know what combo you have with this Obama Snow's hail, but I have a hit that always moves. What? Move that always hits? Army of Mew. That Mew are little tricksters. They, they would. They would. <laughs> we steal total cover of the earth. We throw the, the water to the moon so there is only land. I'm going to break the ice and bring out my last resort, Pokemon. And I'm going to hit you with a move that always hits. Double team all you want. Aura Sphere always hits. Oh, that's not good. Oh, yeah, you're part ghost, aren't you? Right? You're part ghost. Uh, what do I have? Um, that's not good at all, Billy. Damn it. Darn ghost. You make me look bad. <laughs> Blizzard. Oh, I don't think I have anything to get rid of it. Oh no, there's the blizzard. It was the hail. You just keep saying blizzard when it's obviously not blizzard because it just used blizzard. 
<laughs> Rayquaza, use the metal chair! That is how it does. The <laughs> Geodude, for some reason, was the first thing to come to mind as a minion. Hyper potions. And more than likely, you're going to have your own potion full heal for when I actually land a hit on you. If only I had, like, sunny day to get rid of the hail. Is it impossible to hit or is my luck just bad? I know it did double team, and I presume that it has like snow cloak plus the like uh, hail makes it hard to hit, but still. And then I'll just start speeding up. You're gonna lay me out. You are very cruel. Aha, I finally hit you. And you had a berry. I understand that this is strategy, but I will also say, annoying. Why'd you... Oh, never mind, I got you hit twice in a row. You go through all those extra double teams just to get hit twice in a row. Get dunked on, bitch. Hey, MSA, I'm warmed up to you. I might even admire you a little bit. And now I get lots of money from you. <laughs> Lucky Shine is a tanker. He can take a beating and more. All of my Umbreons have been just brick shit houses. Wow, you're great. You've earned my respect. I think your focus will be bowled, ov bowled us over totally. Ah, oh, that's right. I'm supposed to give you this. Icicle badge. I can shove this up somebody's ass. That icicle badge I just gave you? Because you have it, you can use the hidden move rock climb anytime, even when you're not in battle. Oh, and take this too. I don't even know if I have anybody that can use Rock Climb. Contains the move Avalanche. I don't think you used that once against me. If the user takes damage, the move's power is doubled. Can you imagine the sort of focus you need to pull, the, pull it off? Yeah, I also have no idea what kind of situation that would be good for. Oh, Neon, you've beaten the gym leader. You're more focused than her and your Pokemon picked up on it. Not really, I just <laughs> kept saying, bite, bite the ghost, bite the ghost, bite the ghost. <laughs> Well, restore our Pokemon, and then see if there's anybody I care to sacrifice to learn Rock Climb. Knowing my luck, none of them will learn. Or it would be hilarious if Nova could learn Rock Climb. Go, my bird! Climb the rocks! Ah, uh, that's the Icicle Badge. You must have beaten Candace. With that badge, aren't you allowed to use the hidden move Rock Climb? Rock Climb can be learned by Rock-type or Fighting-type Pokemon, I think. God damn it, I don't want to sacrifice more of my boy. I don't want to sacrifice Lucario's fight ability. I already gave him one HM. I don't want to do another. God, why are there eight HMs in this fucking game? That is two full Pokemon worth of moves. <sighs> Wouldn't it be more affecting for Nova to just fly up? Yeah, why do we even need this? Let's see, are there any moves that I care to get rid of for you? Like, maybe Metal Claw? Because I highly doubt that I'm ever going to throw you out to use Metal Claw on something. And I don't even really know how good... I, I know none of the matchups for Steel against other types, so really I guess I should get rid of you. And Surf isn't even really an HM move because it's actually pretty damn good. 95 power, 100 accuracy. It's a decent move. It's a decent move. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll get rid of Metal Claw. I hardly ever use it. It's still annoying that they expect you to have two Pokemon worth of open move slots to sacrifice for HMs. HMs are just dumb. 
you can program in, like, other safety nets to stop people from going where they shouldn't, right? And plus, I'm just so angry that, like, they somehow made HMs similarly annoying in Rescue Team. At least you could just have the HM on you, like, in your inventory, but it, it's still so dumb. That they're like, ooh, HMs to block progress. Design better. I say. That's one thing uh, the BDSP fixed. Blazing diamond, shining purple, I believe. I keep mixing up the words. To be fair, those games came out a decent way after they started using ride Pokemon a lot more. Also, no idea why Lancelot can learn Rock Climb. Is it because he's a Steel type? Reaper Cloth? The Grim Reaper is canon to Pokemon, guys. Brilliant Diamond. It's Blazing Diamond now. We go get high. What is Reaper Cloth? I guess for ghost type moves? <laughs> Wait, no, that would be like a... I thought we got a different thing. Oh. oh, it is loved by certain Pokemon. No, it's evolution. Ah. Well, I guess we're gonna go see Barry get his ass kicked. And only one. <gasps> You're not getting away with this, Team Galactic! Oh, are you finished already? Your Pokemon aren't bad, but you're laughably weak. You honestly thought you could save the Pokemon of the lake and become the Pokemon champion? Dream on, little kid. But ew, it's so cold here. Let's go back to the Veilstone HQ. You're not gonna fight her? Oh, don't I know you? We met in Eterna City. Listen, Team Galactic is gonna do something huge for everyone's sake. That's why you should keep out of Team Galactic's way. Don't come whining about poor Pokemon and other trivial junk like that. Don't waste your time coming to our HQ in Veilstone. Now, if you'll excuse me. We don't even get to fight you. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. That Pokemon called Yuxi. It was suffering. I'm gonna get tougher. It's not about winning or losing. That's not good enough. I have to be stronger. It's not enough just to want to be the most powerful trainer ever. It takes honest effort and a determined heart. Well, now what? We came here. We saw. He, we didn't even fight. I guess maybe the hint is go to Veilstone City? Hello, Psyduck. You dumb son of a bitch. We'll kill you. Ba -ba -ba. Might as well go into the cave because we can. The silent cave. With like some kind of symbol on the ground. Ooh, nice music though. We'll begin walking our way and then we'll probably fly to Veilstone. See if anybody comes along. Yep, time to return. Now we get to raid Shadow Legends, the Galactic HQ. With my team, that I'd say is pretty decent. We still need to level up Silas a bit. I'll go ahead and heal just to get like that one Aura Sphere back, because why not? I wonder if they'll ever, like, what kind of Pokemon spin-off games there'll be in the future. Like, if there'll be, like, special Pokemon games where you play as, like, a single Pokemon and go on an adventure. Like, I don't know, play as a Zorark. <laughs> Live through the utter extinction of the Zorark species that was then, that, that led to, up in Hisui. There, would you look at those antenna? I don't know what they do, but those are some mighty impressive antenna. 
Hey, it's you! I bet you don't remember me, but I sure remember you! Because of you, they took my Clefairy away! My partner called it quits and went back to his old country! Uh, I know nothing! I don't know anything about any storage key! Hey, looker. <gasps> Was he secretly that... <gasps> that galactic grunt all along? Aha! You leave this to me. The storage key for entering the Team Galactic hideout, I have it, right here. A frontal assault, it is not possible, but we can enter their hideout. Well, will you enter the hideout? You have your reasons, yes? Very well. Inside the Team Galactic warehouse, we will meet there. Prepare the best you can. I shall join you shortly. We're gonna kick some galactic ass. All over the cosmos. I guess we can go do rock climbing there to get that item, I suppose. Where do we even keep our bicycle? Is it a fold-out one? Huh. Fool incense! What does that even do? Murder? Also, I should probably find a good... diddly -dee. Makes exotic smelling incense that makes the holder bloated and slow moving. Huh. Boost ice type moves. Extends the direction of light or d direction duration of moves like light screen or a flag, soft sand, power of ground type, steel type moves. But he doesn't really use mild type moves much. I guess I could give should that to the dude. Loved by certain Pokemon, calm and friendly, dragon type moves. Uh, smoke ball enables the holder to flee from any wild Pokemon battle without fail. That's cool. Uh, keeps wild Pokemon away a bit. Uh, big root. Powers HP still moves are boosted. Sticky barb. Uh, Fist plate. Oh! It is a stone tablet that boosts the power of fighting type moves. Here, you can be an ambassador of Arceus by punching people in the face. Your your looker voice isn't that far from the anime. I was I was I just thought that he's talked weird. So I was just like, what kind of voice would I give like a secret agent that talks weird? And so I kind of went with something like this. It just try to match his cadence and apparently so did the official voice actor. Okay, that's cool. Ah, hello. I have kept you waiting. I will use the storage key I have obtained from the Team Galactic Kerchunk. Yes, it is opened. I will go on ahead, my friend. Do not expose yourself to danger. I am a child and I'm here to kick criminal ass. Also, this is kind of cool because this is kind of like what uh, Lance did in the second generation. Hmm. This is some funky music. Team Galactic will set free all Pokemon, all of nature! <laughs> Team Galactic will then own it all! Well, I guess I need to get a special key. I wonder why this guy doesn't want to fight. Maybe he thinks I just work here? Well, what have we here? A trainer who's lost their way? I'm here to kick ass and kill you. Damage the flying dark type. Or is it just flying? Like, I, I always assume that you're dark type just because of your like aesthetic, bro. I'm gonna kill you. You know what would have been cool? Because Team Galactic shtick seems to be that they're just stealing people's Pokemon. It would be interesting if that actually was reflected in their grunts. And their grunts just randomly had different Pokemon. That, like, the inhabitants of each city would, like, have had taken from them. I think that would have been interesting. Instead, it's just the same, like, ooh, kind of basic, eh, similar. higgity biggity. You're lost, but you won! That burns me up to 11! Ooh, Zinc! Totally giving that to Silas. I'm going to make him into my ace through the power of drugs. 
drugs. Plus, uh, if he's going to be a glass cannon, extra defense is good. Or maybe it's completely useless because he's just that glass cannony. Look at that creepy Charon and a kid like you around. The HQ is not the same anymore. Like y you characters change the well character of the place. Boop, boop. Welcome back. We are invading Team Galactic. Kill. Out of the four commanders of Team Galactic, who do you think is the coolest? Well, it depends if si uh, Silas is considered one of the commanders, or would that be Charon? I don't know. I forget Charon a lot. But, like, with the... Like, uh... Just like, uh, the, the three planetoids that we fought so far, just like, none of them really stick out to me. They're all kind of basic. Yeah, just like none of them really have like much, like all that much personality to me. None of them really stick out. Oh sure, why don't you just get all cocky about it? Hello. I'm a Team Galactic member, but I don't even have a Pokemon! I'm the gruntiest of the grunts! It's my fault, though. I still don't know how the warp panels connect. Jupiter, Saturn, and Mars suck, and Charon is the lamer, uh, Zinzolan. Interesting. Who do you think you are, desecrating the halls of our HQ? I'm going to murder you. No one is going to find you when I throw you into oblivion through the power of teleportation. Also, why is your glam meow level 41? I thought I fought a perugly that was far lower level. Aura Sphere! Aura Sphere! Get obliterated, idiot. Tough little trainer is what you are. Exactly. I'm a god. Oh boy. <laughs> Snatch. Careful, Team Galactic. You might start infringing on Team Snagum's copyright. Why even have teleporters at that point? It's just one room away. I saw an official Pokemon animation. It was like the Pokemon bonding with people like uh, they do in everyday life. It was cute. That does sound cute. I like when they do stuff like that. I'm like this close to getting my promotion to commander. I'll impress our great boss by making you my newest trophy. Depending on what you mean, that is insanely dark in different ways. That Glam Meow is a lower level than the last Glam Meow I killed. Die. Or a sphere! I need to watch Pokemon Concierge. I've heard good things. Krogunk, hmm, it is poison fighting. You will be obliterated on the flavor of death. Indigo will stab you with his chest spike. <laughs> I live for the Magikarp that needs a floaty. That sounds adorable. This Pokemon doesn't even know how to splash. We shall now obliterate you with the power of lightning. Dance around, Murkrow. I don't even think you. I don't even think that your evolution exists yet. Die. 
because I think it was Disable or something. Oh, that, 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 that's cute. That's kind of an interesting thing to think of, like, Pokemon disabilities. That's neat. I like that. I wish this never happened. Now my brain goes... Colorblind Smeargle. Hey now, RHQ is a state-of-the-art facility. A snot-nosed kid like you ought to keep your dirty hands to yourself. Not scientist Frederick. Hey, Shine, time for murder. Still waiting for a human having disabilities. Like, I want to see that. That would be cool. Of course, he uses X Defend, you bastard. Get obliterated, Curlia. And you're going to sit in a Kadabra. Shine shall await and murder. He's going to use another X diddly D, and it'll be too late. He'll be dead. Oh, never mind. He didn't use it at all. And now you are synchronized, idiot. <laughs> Why would, are you not a scientist? Do you not know basics? I mean, I'm sure that I've done something similar and sent out a psychic type to fight a dark type like a fool, but... I'm the protagonist, so it's excusable. When you do it, it's a crime. You and your Pokémon were part of my calculations. And now, this Pokéball is mine. A dubious disc! What is a dubious disc? And what does it do? A transparent device of overflowing with dubious data. Its producer is unknown. Wait a minute, was, what, what was that icon? For a moment it looked like a Gengar, but it was just that it was like purple and stuff. Psychic type should be weak to flying. Eh, but that's what fighting is for. To be weak against flying types. Well, now I just don't know which way to go. The locked doors only open with a special key. Now, if I was a com comedy relief sort of bad guy, I'd tell you, but I really don't know! You're too young to understand the changing times. Stand aside and let Team Galactic shape the future. Change the future. Change the future. I believe you're just a, a poison type, I think. Let's see what happens if I punch you really hard. Still dead. Mwahaha. I failed to read the flow of battle and your power was unfathomable. The Team Galactic Credo. Everything belongs to Team Galactic. Look beyond the world. Space will become Team Galactic's. Intruder alert, there's something smelly about you. And yet you're the one who will die. I just, I don't know which way is like the right way to go. Is this progressing or if I went back to the scientist guy through the teleporter, would I go to a good place? How dare you nightshade me. I'll kill you. Psychic type is weak to common fears. Bug goes dark. Flying type could be both the fear of heights and the fear of flying. Maybe. But you also need to consider just like uh, how many super effectives you're throwing at a type. Hmm, stunky. What have we not given a chance to shine yet? Oh, let's shine. I keep, I keep forgetting to give you the antidote to paralyze. And by that, I mean a full heal. Because 
Why not? Hmm, for some reason, I thought there was two more. I'm dumb. Think quick attack. Damn it, paralyzed. <laughs> but there is the power to levitate with psychic power. But how... F <laughs> that'd be hilarious. It's like... Alakazam, learn fly. We. God, that would hurt for poor Gyarados. He can't learn fly yet. <laughs> Let Gyarados fly. He deserves it. Oh, who's my own Pokemon smell? Your execution is tomorrow. Ah, well, I can't even go this way anyway. I need a special key. There's some funky music for a hidden hideout. Then again, if it wasn't a hidden hideout, it would just be an out. <laughs> even though there is a flying Gyarados in Legends Arceus, just to taunt us, to make fun of us. Man, this place has terrible conditioning. There's just water there. Uh, sludge berm. Berm sludge. Lul, 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 lul. We need to power up. God. Okay, to get to Master Cyrus' speech, uh, where is it now? Uh, at the Galactic Veilstone building, that much I'm sure about. Go in through the door beside the reception counter, I think it was. I do with the key anyway. Where's it gone? My key. Mine. I'm going to shiny hunt that Gyarados someday. I'm sure there's somebody out there that's just like, I'm going to shiny hunt this very, very specific Pokemon. And the world will be pained. I go the way the game wants me to go when I can go the way that I want to go. Why can't I use my bicycle to run these guys over? Yeah, it was just for a single item. <laughs> Frustration! Bada bing, bada boom. Brain just went on a ser uh, on a series of adventure right there. Just to cut to the chase, my brain went down the line of thinking that ended with the question, what kind of Pokemon would be used as a sex toy? And I don't know why. Blick. I'm dumb. I look at chat. I look away. I die. One day I want to attempt to shiny hunt for the wild legendary birds and let's go Pikachu and Eevee. Normal ones have a rarer spawn chance than a shiny, so imagine getting a shiny one. Jesus. Because the professor is as powerful as a PMD Kecleon. Oh wait, no, this is the way. That, it all is a big circle. Now I must leave, go in through the normal way, and invade. Which means... Uh, where was Looker? He just disappeared in there. Maybe he put on his... Team Galactic disguise and didn't break character for me. But I know, like, next to nothing about the... Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee games. Their specifics, their interesting little things. I know next to nothing. Ding, 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 ding. But now that I have the special key, I can invade from the front. Kick all their ass. <laughs> or maybe he ditched you. Impossible, because 
I, it, it was basically one big one way. It, basically impossible for him to have gotten past me. Uh, don't bomb, don't mind me. I'm just uh, I'm gonna enter. Now Brain went Metal Gear Pokemon. I mean, t like, uh, Team Rocket has used giant mechs before. Why not have a Metal Gear Pokemon? Having fun scamping around our HQ, you sneaky intruder. Your trailblazing will go out in a blaze of glory right now. You fool. I will annihilate you before you even know. My flying is better than your flying. As my flying knows to close its mouth. Die. You are a fool to have challenged me. Kind of hard for our hardcore line for a grunt, not gonna lie. It was pretty good. Get obliterated, fool. You cannot match my power. <laughs> Another gold bat. Gold bat, gold bat, gold bat. How many more gold bats do you have? Closet full of Pokeballs full of gold bats. Like, honestly, that would be... Honestly, why haven't we ran into, like, a criminal team that let their grunts have just tons of fodder Pokemon to try and wear you down? Because it's basically like a rule of the league or maybe law of the land where you can only carry six Pokemon with you unless you're, like, Alder. Your trailblazing streak lives on! So, like, why not have a criminal team literally break the law and have carry more than six Pokemon? You should be tired out by now. It's Team Galactic's turn to shine. You will not be found. Do you both just have Golbats? <laughs> team Plasma Watchdog Jump Scare. You just think that that would be a mechanic at some point. Like, what if there was, like, a whole criminal war where the League waves that, like, mechanic? Who's like, you can carry, like, more Pokemon because it's dangerous out there with the criminals about. And, like, that, that could be an interesting thing where you can carry, like... 12 Pokemon on you, but only in official matches you can use 6, but against criminals you can use all 12. Like, I don't know, I think that'd be interesting. <laughs> Volo jump scare. Oh no, all 6 of my Pokemon fainted. Go, God! Also, if the amount of Aura Spheres I've been throwing around this place... They are not getting their deposit back. Who am I kidding? They probably stole this building. But I don't get it. What's your rush? Saving the world from you. Team Galactic TV room? <laughs> State-of-the-art audio and video system for member use only. Onward to a new... I won't let you disrupt our research. This is for Team Galactic... God, I can't believe Darius from League of Legends is here as a scientist. I always knew he was a nerd. Let's use that teleport. It is important. We will see. You're going to spam recover now, aren't you? Hurry, Elise! Not if I kill you first. I don't play League. Who the hell is that? Big armored guy with axe. I got whipped. I look pathetic. And hello, hello. We are invading. Oh, hey. Ah, for Cyrus' speech. Hmm. 
Just in case, I'm going to make a save state and swap my team around. I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you very much. And I hope you also have a lovely day. <laughs> Cyrus, I have a dream that we can nuke this universe. Psst, here, over here, this gathering of the Team Galactic. What is the meaning of it? I love that he constantly refers to them as the Team Galactic. <laughs> Fellow members of Team Galactic, hear me. My name as I appear to you today is Cyrus. This world of ours is a crude one. In a word, it is incomplete. It has been and always will be a struggle to survive in this world. We humans and Pokemon are likewise incomplete. You know, it would be interesting if there was a Pokemon game where you played as a Pokemon going through this. Like, maybe you were the, the single partner Pokemon to, like, the typical human protagonist, but you, like, do your own, like, small mammal on a big adventure type story while the big Save the World plot is going on. And, like, you would meet Pokemon working for, like, Team Galactic, and they're like, yeah, we believe in destroying the universe, too. I think that would be interesting. I think it would be cool. <laughs> we humans and Pokemon are likewise incomplete. Because we are all so lacking. We fight. We maim. It is ugly. And yet you're not a pacifist. I hate the incompleteness. That we are all incomplete. I hate it with my entire body and being. The world should be complete. The world must change. Then who will change it? Me, Cyrus, and Team Galactic. Yes, all of you. Together we pawed over myths and exposed their secrets. Together we captured legendary Pokemon. And now, Team Galactic has obtained the energy to change the world! The power of dreams is within our grasp. Understand it, fellow members. My long-held dream world is on the verge of becoming reality. All those headed to Mount Coronet and all those who remain here, though our missions may differ, our hearts beat as one. Let there be glory for Team Galactic! Roar! Master Cyrus is the greatest! Now you're just brown nosing. Who? So that was Cyrus, the boss of the Team Galactic. Quite the performance, no. Mesmerizing for only one of 27 years old. But to make the world for Team Galactic and none other, it is preposterous. So much so that it makes my head spin. A new world, what is that? And what is this incomplete world? Very well, to investigate such matters is the job of the international police, and which I am a member of in good stead, and it is my job, therefore. We shall part ways here. Take extra care, my friend. There isn't a game exactly like that, but there is something similar. What if you wanted to meet God, but a cosplayer said, Can you feel it? The chill creeping through your veins, the Eldritch presence, icing your heart. <laughs> Minions tonight, we steal the moon! Cyrus being 27 kills me. I can't believe that he's doing things better than I at such an age. There's a note taped to the refrigerator. Drink all you wish and gain the energy to move us forward. Is filled with murky, sinister drinks and nothing else. There's a report titled The Pokemon Statue of Saturna. Pokemon Statue Plate Text Number One from Stolen Plate. The creation of Dialga, the giver of time. In laughter there is tears, and likewise it is with time. The same time flows on, for it is the blessing of Dialga. The blue text has been extracted using the high-tech device made by the boss. Would you like to keep reading? The birth of Palkia, the creator of parallel dimensions. Alive yet not alive, everything drifts in space. To arrive in the same universe, it is the blessing of Palkia. 
Interesting. There's no way he's 27. Minions, tonight we steal the distortion world! Would be interesting to steal an entire dimension. Max revive. Now I can revive Max and nobody else. Maximilian dude will live forever. And now we'll head back to the TV room. I do like the implication, though, that this is the TV room. Everyone looks at the big screen behind the microphone. Team Galactic Nap Room. Ensure the bed is unoccupied before getting into it. So somebody jumped into bed and somebody was already there. Now, what double team shall we fuck you with today? Now, it seems like there's a lot of flying types in this, so this should even things out. Are you enjoying your unescorted, unauthorized, and unsettling tour of Team Galactic HQ? Hey there, little trainer. You're famous among Team Galactic. The order's been issued. We get a promotion if we put you down. You want to kill me? What have I done except get in your way? Aura Sphere! And Spark, I guess. Kill the skunk! Good, you are dead. Goodbye. Aura Sphere! Get blasted. Damn it. But that still would kill. Hilarious! I am a god. Another crow gun. Well, I'll just launch another aura sphere at you and kill you. Congratulations, you have mirroring teams. We're gonna kill you the same way, though. Who needs originality when you can have a sequel? I love watching Maximilian, dude. He is very fun to watch. For some reason, the video that comes to mind is when he watched that uh, Rolling Rocks and Half A Press. Mario 64 video. He's just like, oh, I understand this concept, and then the parallel universes happen. Imagine getting one shot by a not very effective move. Idiot. And then you send out a Glammeow. This pussy about to be pounded to death. I haven't watched Scott the Waz. I really should sit down and watch some of his videos. The clips I've seen are amusing. Hey, Square Enix fans! Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> Let me do what I want! No. I just blew my promotion. Three teleporters! Well, at least I got a protein. <laughs> My Lucario and Black 2 dealing not effective murder. Got the Waz is what peak YouTube looks like. I'm sure there's others as well, but I've definitely heard a lot of good things about Scott the Waz. More items for me. A Max Elixir. I can't believe this elixir is made out of a guy named Max. I 
At least it's not a Wario elixir. Well, I guess we're gonna go to hell. Oh, hey, it's Cyrus. So you've come. You heard my speech, I take it. <laughs> a big lie, of course. It's true in so far as my intention is to create a new world, but that world isn't for the likes of Team Galactic. I seek an entirely new world solely for myself. If not, it could never be the complete and perfect world. So you just want a box to be lonely in where nobody else exists outside that box? You see my minions of Team Galactic. <laughs> they are the minions. You yourself must know that they are uniformly useless and incom incomplete. I know why you're here. I can sense it in you. It's about Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azov, correct? You want to save them. I no longer have any need for them. I'm finished with them. If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I couldn't care less. It will save me the trouble of disposing of them. But I must say, you are a remarkable specimen. Those Pokemon have nothing to do with you, do they? But still, you came to rescue them out of pity. Such pitifully useless emotions. It's illogical and irrational. Pity and compassion are products of the weak and faulty human heart. You are compelled to come here by such vacuous sentimentality. I will make you regret paying heed to your heart. Once again, this reminds me of my fanfic idea that involves sending Cyrus and Team Galactic to Hisui. I just think it would be funny. Wherever there is Sinnoh, there is Cyrus to fuck with everything. Or a sphere! How many different fanfics do I have? Currently active, as in there is actually stuff to read, I think five? I have a one-shot that I'm working on. Oh, hey, Hunchcrow is real. I didn't think he would be. But yeah, I have a one-shot that I'm working on, a shorter fic that's 11 chapters I'm working on, and then I'm, I, I have like over 200 individual story ideas that I need to actually work on. And do note that some of these story ideas are, go from a single paragraph that's less than 100 words to documents measuring in the uh, over 10,000 words. Not all of them are made equal. I have a lot of story ideas. And I, uh, though I do believe that that over 200 mark also includes story ideas that are original. So, and tell me, <laughs> my last Pokemon, and tell me, how many are uh, PMD fanfics? Uh, let me nuke this Crobat quickly, and I will go <laughs> do a quick count because I've started to collect them in a single Google Doc. Because I started getting so many of the ideas. Also, how do you have a Crobat? That requires love. I see. I may lose if this pace continues. Ah, oh, you used a full restore. He does care. But, it, uh, not sure about the exact amount off the top of my head, but it is over 20 pages of normal Google Doc text of the uh, Mystery Dungeon fanfic ideas. <laughs> 2,600 resets for Groudon! Hey! Interesting, and quite curious. I see. You are indeed strong. And the basis of your power is your compassion towards Pokémon. How wasteful. Such emotions are but mere illusions. And like all illusions, they fade over time, until death banishes them forever. That is why I have abandoned all emotions as useless sentimentality. But that doesn't matter. I doubt you will ever understand my position. 
That said, I recognize that you are strong and courageous to come alone. This is your reward. Master Ball! The Master Ball is the ultimate Pokeball. It will unfailingly catch any Pokemon in the wild. But it is not anything that I require. Unlike you trainers, I do not make Pokemon my friends or partners. Unlike other Team Galactic members, I don't use Pokemon as tools. Instead, I make the power of Pokemon my own. So like what, do you fuse and dance with them? If you wish to save the Pokemon from the lakes, take the war panel ahead. I am off to Mount Coronet. I will ascend the mountain to its peak, where destiny awaits me. It is there that I will create my new world. <laughs> Throw it at a level 2 Pokemon for the gag. No, I'm not insane. And as uh, this saves, I'm going to quickly do a count on my... Let's see. Currently in my random Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story idea box, I have over 10,000 words. Let's see, there's number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, uh, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, tw 27, 27 overall. And all of them are actually fairly, like, fleshed out. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Oak recommends using it on a pharaoh or a tentacool. Po Professor Oak has infinite po po master balls. <laughs> oh Christ. I have lots of ideas. The creation of space. Some say the universe originated from a massive explosion. Similarly, Sinnoh is thought to have been formed by an explosion in ancient times. Needless to say, the explosion came from the power of a Pokemon. The Pokemon must have been in a m the mythical creature considered a deity by the ancients. Our aim is not to capture the mythical Pokemon, but to obtain its power. The PC entry ends there. Well, that's basically how Legends Arceus is. The ancients saw the legendary Pokemon as gods, and one blew up Spear Pillar, and that led to the end of the Hisui and slowly becoming the Sinnoh region. This is the closest Pokemon has got to touching on beliefs and religion. The mythical Pokemon. According to myths, the Pokemon created Sinnoh with its power. However, capturing the Pokemon with a Pokeball prevents it from using its full power. But with the red chain, the Pokemon can be shackled, and its power can be used without restraint. That's interesting lore that I didn't know about. Pokeballs inherently restrict super powerful Pokemon's power. Huh. The Red Chain. The Pokemon of the Three Lakes and Mount Coronet are somehow connected. Capturing the Pokemon of the Lakes will free the Pokemon of Mount Coronet. From the Pokemon of the Lakes, crystals can be extracted to create a Red Chain. Using that Red Chain, the mythical Pokemon can be summoned and shackled to do as we command. Interesting. Oh my god, Cyrus made Pal World. Yeah, that, that seems like the kind of thing he'd do. Guns and all. Huh. I do kind of like that <laughs> this is all that there is here. <laughs> you can make an announcement to Team Galactic. I'm here to make an announcement. Cyrus is a bitch-ass motherfucker. Creepy music.
I feel awful about what we did. This experiment went too far. I'm not sure if I could stomach that, what Master Cyrus plans. There's something suspended in green fluid. This is disturbing. Uh, I feel too sickened to say anything. But that thing we made, what is it going to be used for? Okay, horror time. I just realized I don't have I don't have any status effects for catching legendary Pokemon. Yuxi sealed inside. It appears to be suffering with eyes squeezed shut. As of a sealed inside, it appears to be suffering with racking shutters. Okay, yeah, sure. Just give each one a unique. Mesprit is sealed inside. It seems to be suffering with its tail twitching. <laughs> Those Pokemon at the lakes. Where do you suppose they would go? What are you trying to say? Nothing. Pay it no heed. A new world isn't overly interesting. What of it? If Cyrus is right, then Team Galactic will rule that new world. That's when it'll be interesting. A chance to enjoy its sweets. I surely hope that our visionary Cyrus realizes his dreams. I look forward to whatever our beloved leader has planned atop Mount Coronet. Gramps, our boss can do without your kind of moral support. You. You came all the way here just to save some Pokemon? Though it's nothing new, I can't say I understand our boss. Why would he let a kid like you come and go freely? We Team Galactic take all that we need and eliminate what we do not. But anyway, you've taken the trouble to come. Let me welcome you. Consider it payback for your insulting me at the lake. <laughs> Doesn't Yuxi always have its eyes closed? Exactly. <laughs> Snapcube Sonic dubs live in my head. There are some very good quotes from it. Time to kick some galactic ass. You will be obliterated. No one will find your body. I will put you into the suffering machine. I will extract things from you and make a chain. How does that feel? A Bronzor, huh? How do I annihilate the Bronzor good again, I forget. I shall send out Silas, because I can't. It's time to kick gum and chew ass, and I'm all out of ass. A classic dick kick em quote. I don't even know what that's from. I just remember a random, like, YouTube video Twitch stream clip of somebody reading that quote underneath a MS Paint du Duke Nukem. Your ass is grass, and I've got the lawnmower. You're gonna send out a toxic croak, I'm gonna send out my indigo. I guess you could say that he's leagues above you. Duke Nukem is where it originated. Wasn't there a movie? I forget who the actor was, but I thought it was an act like a movie that the quote I came to uh, chew gum uh, and like kick ass and chew gum and I'm all of gum or whatever. Because Duke Nukem is just an entire like super movie reference. God, what makes you so tough? Fine, do whatever you want with these three Pokemon. Press the button on that machine to set them free. Oh, one second, I want to talk to you. Hmm, Saturn and even Cyrus fall to a mere child. Team Galactic's state of affairs is worrying. That plan of Cyrus is atop Mount Coronet, too. Who knows if it will work? 
Perhaps another option needs to be considered. One befitting the genius of Charon. Free the Pokemon. And then they just teleport away. Our boss crafted a red chain from crystals he took from the three Pokemon. That red chain is what he needed to shackle something on Mount Coronet. It's also apparently needed for creating something. But that's all I know. Who knows what he's planning to do up there. And then he's just standing here. Standing here. He's standing here. But what are these things floating in green liquid? And why is one of them offset? That annoys me. Team Galactic Warp Panels. The green panel warps to return to the ground floor. Onward to a new universe. Why would Cyrus need, like, a reminder of it? Well, we obviously know where we need to go next, up to... Sperpella, probably. Hmm. Hmm. Considering things, we are almost at three hours, so I think this is a good time to stop. So, next time we can try and make our way up, I believe, to Snowpoint Temple, or is it... Like, do we need to go to Snowpoint Temple to then get to Spear Pillar? I forget. My brain is dumb. But next time, we will go about things and stop in Cyrus for good. Probably get the 8th Gym Badge, and then who knows? Maybe then bust up the, the Elite Four. I don't know. I'll probably do some grinding off screen to get the levels up just a little bit. Because, I don't know. Things would be bad. <laughs> no, Orberg City. There's a thing in Orberg City? I mean, I guess we could check out Orberg City. What would even be there? See you on Monday. Indeed. I don't think there's anything here. I just see words and then I go. <laughs> but yes, next time, we'll probably try and put a stop to Cyrus's plans. Run into probably a ton more legendary Pokemon. Maybe the Distortion World. See about getting the 8th Gym Badge. Then maybe Pokemon League. There's a, there's a lot that could possibly be happening next time. Yep. And next time should be... At 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, Monday. Ah, also, Orberg is the closest entrance to Mount Cornet Spear Pillar. The next time we will begin by checking out Snowpoint Temple, because I can, because I forgot to do it th this time because I'm a fool. Then, from Orberg, we'll go to Spear Pillar. Some way, somehow. <laughs> oh, yeah, because the rock climbing place. <laughs> That's true. I am a fool. I forgot about that. There was a skier going up and down there. But yeah, this time we beat Candice for the Icicle Badge and then basically did a, a whole war path against Team Galactic. Oh, Snowpoint is locked. Ah, probably for later. But then just lots to do next time. All of it unknown for I am a fool. Be very interesting. Once again, probably will level up my Pokemon off screen, so there's just a little bit more safety because the, the Elite Four is probably going to kick my ass. But, yeah, this has been a lot of fun. Mm, got rock climbing. Did have to give two HMs to my, my starter. Eh. Hurts. But, oh well. We are nearing the end. I'll definitely have to start, like, drawing the... Uh, the Pokemon I'm going to be using for Gates to Infinity for, like, the thumbnails and stuff. Because... After I beat Platinum, we're definitely going to do that. I don't... I have no idea what kind of post-game Platinum has. 
but I'm not sure if I cared to, like, delve into it because I wasn't really a big fan of, like, the Battle Frontier of Emerald, so I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, do you think I'll get Groudon tonight? With your luck, it doesn't seem likely. <laughs> we have Bidoofs for a reason. <laughs> Bidoofs, the ultimate gods of the universe. Magius Budius, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, has links to all that I do. So if you want edited content, YouTube videos, there's a YouTube for that. If you want streaming, there's a YouTube and a Twitch for that. If you want to watch the streams of the streams past, like Kirby in the Forgotten Land, Undertale, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team, and Explorers of Sky, all of those will be found on the streaming YouTube channel as well. Then, if you want to see art that I draw, like my little character in the corner, various other social medias, Hold the art that I draw, Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and all. Links in the link tree. <laughs> Pokemon fans, after saying Bidoof is God for the quintillionth time, <laughs> observe, if you will, that hold. <laughs> but, and then if you want to, like, stay up to date and read all the various Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fanfics I'll eventually create, there's also links to that. And, of course, finally, to the super generous and such... My Patreon is also leaked in there, so if you want to throw a dollary do my way through that Patreon of a tip jar to ease the evils of the universe against me, you can. But only if you're, like, financially stable. Don't be evil to yourself to be kind to me. That is evil still and wrong. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I try to stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, keeping to a schedule. And next time, we will see about putting an end to Team Galactic's charade. But yes, but yes, thank you very much, everybody, for watching this here stream and coming along with the journey for me tonight. Hopefully you have a good day or night. Remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind. See you next time.